been out of the presidential race months ago, but he stole the show yesterday with his winterish Vermont style choice. <laughs> the picture of him arriving in a winter coat and mittens carrying that envelope has gone viral. And now <laughs> there's a bobblehead to come up to commemorate the ensemble. The bobblehead, by the way, will cost you 25 bucks. Uh, our digital anchor Stephanie Haney joins us now. Stephanie, there's a new twist to the memes that we've been seeing online, which, by the way, have been wildly entertaining. They have, Jay, and it is perfect. Not everyone can make their own memes, so the Internet took care of that for us. NYU grad student Nick Swanee built an app to put Bernie Sanders anywhere on Google Street View. Since we discovered this, Bernie has been very busy around Northeast Ohio today at the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton at First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland and at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame before popping over to the West Side Market in Ohio City. You know Bernie couldn't come to Cleveland without stopping by WKYC, so here he is waiting outside for a live shot with Austin Love and checking out Matt Wince's Weather Cave. He made a quick stop here at Studio Stephanie before taking a peek inside WKYC Studios. And these two look familiar, very focused with the senator from Vermont, Jay and Betsy. <laughs> that is so great. <laughs> I didn't even know he was with us in, in studio, Betsy. I love how Betsy. people have been doing this. It, it's so funny, just random places that people are popping him in, and it's, it's brilliant. So bravo to everybody who's got a sense of humor. <laughs> the mittens. It's great, and I've been in that studio. He's adequately dressed, very cold. Now, it wasn't <laughs> just Bernie's <laughs> fashion. True. that was... it, it really is. Not just Bernie's fashion, though, that was stealing the show at the inauguration. There were some subtle and not so subtle nods to unity. So take a look at this really quick. Dr. Jill Biden's outfit, designed by Gabriella Hurst. You see there, embroidered flowers. Those are all of the state flowers and the official flowers of U.S. territories and the District of Columbia. The message they're bringing the states together. And what about all that purple that we saw? Well, what do you get when you bring together red and blue, the colors of the Republican and the Democratic parties? You get purple. So there's the message from our Vice President Kamala Harris and also First Lady Michelle Obama, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, and others. And also, by the way, purple is also a nod to the women's suffrage movement, Jay. So another potential symbolism there. All right. I love that blending red and blue to get purple. We could use a lot of that these days. Stephanie, great stuff. Thank you very much.